right everybody so here it comes to installing the heads as you can see I already installed one head the head gaskets on the head bolts are in the head is tight down this was just me getting some work done because they're exact same mirrored on this side but we're gonna go through recording this side so one thing you gotta note is when you put the lifters in you have to put them in before you put the head on or else you'll screw yourself and you'll be wasting a head gasket ask me how I know because I almost did that and it's a one time use head gasket so you gotta put your lifters in before you put the head on the heads are mirrored so this head could go on this side this head can go on that side doesn't matter which way the only thing that's not mirrored are the head gaskets and they will state on the one spot front top which means that it goes here front top that the head gasket only goes on one way so there's a left and right head gasket but the heads are mirrored so as you can see this head is on the driver's side of cylinder I think it's four five six the cat head bolts that I have here that I got from work are torqued down to the uh, Haynes manual specification so let's go over installing this head all right, here I'm going to quickly go over the difference in head bolts. So, just like I did on my white Ranger, which I don't have anymore for a number of reasons, um, this Ranger is getting the same treatment. So, this here, stock head bolt. Well, you got to understand these are metric bolts. They're M12 by 1.75 thread. Um, the stock head bolts are 9.8 grade, from what I can tell by the stamp on them. They're 87 millimeters long and they're considered a flange head bolt because the washer at the top here is built into the bolt. So 9.8 grade, 1.75 thread, and then it is 87 millimeters long to the flange head bolt. Now what am I changing? All the head bolts to a much stronger quote unquote head bolt. So because I work at a cat dealer, I can get almost any sort of fastener you want. Now I bought these bolts which are a hex head, not a torx head, and they are they are not flange head. So I need to get washers. The head here on the cat bolt is 11.9 grade M12 1.75 thread and they are 90 millimeters long the three millimeters comes from the washer so now I have a head bolt with a washer that is exactly the same length as the stock one. So I have a 11.9 grade bolt with a 10.9 grade washer. I can't get 11.9 washer. And this is where I bought at work because I work at a cat dealer. I've had no issues with the White Ranger up until I don't have it anymore. Actually, my dad has it now and it's still just fine. So the same thing I'm gonna to do to this one. So I'll have a part number, the cat part number for the bolt, the cat part number for the washer, and you need 16 of them, eight per side. So this is what I'm using for head bolts. They worked out in the past. I'm not buying ARP head studs or doing any fancy dancy bolts you can get offline when I can get these for a fraction of the price at the place I work. Um, that's pretty much it for the head bolts. 
I'm going from a stock 9.8 grade to a 11.9 grade and the difference in thread there does not matter because the threads do not go into the block high enough to make a difference here. The only difference that I can tell is the clearance between the oil hole for lubricating the rocker shaft has a little bit less clearance but you still have enough room around the bolt for the oil to go up and go through the head and do its job and so far it has no issues with the white ranger that my dad now has so I am using cat bolts standard hex size bolts with a washer they are M12 by 1.75 thread 90 millimeters long with the washer it brings it to the correct 87 millimeters long so those are the differences in the head bolts that's what I'm using and now back to installing the head alright so I'm gonna go over this right now uh, I made a head bolt with two slits in it hopefully you can see that um, to clear out these bolt holes Press compress air in them. There's nothing in these bolt holes. Everything can screw in. Nice and fantastic. Um, we're going to install the lifters again. Just like the beginning, you have to install the lifters before you put the head on. Don't screw yourself. So I'm going to go get my lifters, which have been soaking. This little pot of oil, or not really a pot, container of oil. Um, hydraulic lifters, it's good to do this. Solid lifters, you don't really have to do this. On the white one I did, I forgot to do this, but whatever. Um, but it is good to... So installing these, there's a keyway on these lifters. These are just your stock replacement lifters. There's a keyway. Slide down in there. Hopefully you see the keyway there. So they only go in one way. Spin them until they go down in. Is this, uh, oh, that's that cam lobe is pretty much at the top, so that's about as far as it won't go down. Same with that one. Wiley. All right, so we're going to install the head gasket. Now, as I said in the beginning, the head gasket, hopefully you can see, right there it says front top. Hopefully you can see that. This looks really weird with me trying to Hopefully you can kind of see that. It says front top here and you can see the arrow. There's an arrow on the other side, but you have to pay attention to the front top, which you can see the top kind of easily and the front kind of stamped in there. This is the head gasket. We're going to try something I never used before, and that's this. Apparently it is a good heat transfer for head gaskets. I don't know if this is really necessary because in the diesel world when you do a head gasket remove and replace nothing special goes on most of the heads but because in the future I'll be boosting this we're gonna try it so let me cut 
this head gasket out and we're gonna spray it. It's already been shaking. front top grab the other head
right, so I'm gonna probably leave it off here. Both heads are installed, torqued in three stages, which you probably would have saw. 25, 55, and then 90 degrees. My cat head bolts. Everything's on. Head gaskets, there's a left and right side. Heads are mirrored. So that's pretty much it. I think this is where I'm going to leave this off. The next one's probably going to be measuring to order the correct push rod lengths. So that'll be a whole separate video of that. But spark plugs are just kind of loosely in there. Everything's just all set for now. Heads are installed and torqued. Lifters are in. I think that's pretty much it. Once I get the lower intake on, our push rods and valve covers on, then we're going to clean and paint the uh, whole engine. So, yep. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to look at more of this hot garbage. If not, have a nice day. I'll see you later.